let us solve these equations. Uh, the first question is 2a squared is 72. Okay, so let's write the equation again. So 2a squared is equal to 72. So the next step is I want to divide both sides by 2 to get rid of this 2. So this is 2a squared divided by 2 is equal to 72 divided by 2. So this means a squared, so this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled, a squared is 36. So now I'm going to write this as a squared is equal to 6 squared. Now you may be tempted to write a is equal to 6, but uh, we need to understand something. So I want to undo the squared, so I'm going to take the opposite of square, which is square root. So a square root of a squared. Whenever you took uh, finding the square root of a number, you have to put plus or minus. I'll explain that later on. This is 6 squared. So a, so the square and square root cancels each other out. So a is plus or minus 6. Plus or minus 6. This is how you write the answer. The reason is because, you should know the reason, because 6 squared is 6 times 6 which is 36, okay? And negative 6 squared, so I'll put negative 6 in the bracket. Negative 6 squared means it is negative 6 times negative 6, which is also plus 36. So you should have to write both the answers. Okay, so this is question A. So let me use a blue color for question B. So 2A squared, 2A to the power of 4, is equal to 128. So the same process, I'm going to divide both by 2, both sides by 2. So a to a to the power of 4 over 2 is equal to 128 divided by 2. So this is a to the power of 4 is equal to, this is 64. So now, can I write this as a squared squared? So a to the power of 4 is a squared squared. And this I'm also going to write as a square. So that is 8 squared is 64. So now I'm going to take the square root of this side. So square root of a squared squared is equal to plus or minus square root of 8 squared. Let me put this in the bracket. Okay, so square and square root cancels each other out. So a, a squared is equal to plus or minus 8. So now from this, you have to split this into two equations. So this splits into two equations. So this is a squared is equal to plus 8, and a squared is equal to negative 8. So this would be a merit question, I think so. Okay, so yeah, again, can I write this as a square? So I can write this as a squared is equal to 8 can be written as square root of 8 squared. Okay, so let me show that on a calculator. Square root of, oops, uh, let me move this. Okay, so I want to, okay, so let me show this on a calculator. Okay, so if you go to run menu, or if you take a simple calculator, if you press uh, bracket, shift square root of 8 squared is 8 because uh, let me explain this in a different way this means uh, this is if you do square root of 8 squared is square root of 8 times square root of 8 which is square root of 64 which is 8 okay so you can write 8 as square root of 8 squared. So now I'm going to take square root of both sides. So square root of a squared is equal to, whenever you do square root, you have to put plus or minus square root of 8 the whole squared. Oops, I'm at the right. I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So this is a bit tricky. So this is plus or minus square root of square root of square root of 8 the whole squared okay so this is 
I'm taking square root of both sides. So square and square root cancels each other out. So a is equal to plus or minus square root of 8. Okay, so again square and square root cancels each other out. So this is answer, one answer. Now, here you have to think logically. Now if you square, so what we are saying is a squared is equal to negative 8. So one thing that you should, it should be very clear, square of any number, if you square any number, square of any number can never be 0, sorry, can never be negative, can never be negative. It is always 0 or positive. So this thing should be very clear. If you square any number, it doesn't matter if it's a negative or a positive number, it is going to be either 0 or uh, positive. So here this means, well, right, use a red, this means uh, no, no solution, no solution. That means uh, no real solution I should write, but you can understand is this, what we are saying is this equation is telling us that square of a number is equal to negative 8, which is not possible, or you can also write not possible in real numbers. Of course, when you learn higher maths, when you come to learn calculus, there this can be solved, okay? But at this level, you can say there are no real roots or there are, it is not possible to solve this equation. Okay, finally, uh, finally the equation is, let me use a different color. So it is 9 bracket, let me have a look at the equation, a minus 4 the whole squared, a minus 4 the whole squared, plus, plus 3 is equal to 84. So you can pause this video if you want to and try to solve this yourself. Hopefully you have done this question. So this is a simple quadratic equation. Let's expand this first. So, so this is 9 times a minus 4 times a minus 4 plus 3. I'm going to, okay, let me write equal to 84. Okay, so now I want to expand this. So this is 9 times a times a is a squared. Negative 4 times a is negative 4a. Or a times negative 4, this again negative 4a. And negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Plus 3 minus 84 is equal to 0. So what I've done is I've expanded this and I've taken negative 84 from both sides or I've taken away 84 from both sides. So this becomes, this is 9 times, I have to simplify this before I expand. So this is a squared minus 80 plus 16. Let's simplify this. This is minus Minus 84 plus 3 is negative 81 equal to 0. So this is 9a squared uh, minus, this is how much? Minus 72a plus, now 16 times 9. Okay, 16 times 9. I do like this. This is 10 times 9, which is 90, and 6 times 9 which is 54. So this is 144. Okay, so plus 144 take away 81 equal to 0. So this is 9a squared minus 72a. 144 take away, 144 take away 81. So this is 3 and this is uh, this is how much? 6. Okay. Am I right? Yeah, 63. Plus 63 equal to 0. So what can you factor out? I can see a 9 here. This is 9 times 8 and this is 9 times 7. So if you factor out the 9, you got a squared minus 80 plus 7 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 9. If you divide this side by 9, you can also divide this side by 9. So this 9 and 9 gets cancelled. And you got a simple 
quadratic equation of a squared minus 80 plus 7 equal to 0. So now, I hope you know how to factorize this. You start with a in both the brackets. The two factors of 7, which gives you negative 8. 7 can, you can get only 7 as 1 times 7. 1 times 7 is 7. So I'm going to take both negative, negative 1 times negative 7 is positive 7 and negative 1 plus negative 7 is negative 8. So I'm going to write negative 1 and negative 7. And now I'm going to set both of them equal to 0. So I'm going to ask the question when would this become 0 and when would this become 0. So well a has to be 1 or A has to be 7. So you've got two answers. So you can always check it by putting this back in this equation. So if you put A is 1, so 1 minus 1 becomes, this becomes 0. If this is put here, and if you put here, this will become 0. 